Hey, Tyler Price here. I'm also Grow Your Greens on some, some channels. But day three, it feel great. Uh, I haven't actually eaten anything and it's 1.29 today because I was ch chasing grandkids around. Uh, got them donuts and I didn't eat any donuts and then we went to the farmer's market. I guess I did cheat today because one of the grandkids shared their ice cream with me. It was a bite uh, and whatever she didn't finish. So, so I did violate my rules, but uh, oh well, that's, I'm gonna live with that. Um, but here's my lunch and I'm just throwing in Granny Smith apples, bananas, uh, got some almond milk and I was out of regular almond milk, so it's chocolate almond milk, but it's still almond milk. This is my baby vomit or uh, kefir. Uh, and just watch it as it kind of splats here. Come zoom in on this. Just chunky, splatty goodness. Yeah. So people have been asking me about the kefir. It's super easy to make. You get some kefir grains, throw it in milk. Um, if I'm doing, wanting to make a treat, there's lentils, black lentils specifically. Uh, got Granny Smith apple, banana, black lentils, big old chunk of alfalfa, big old chunk of broccoli. This is the one that hurts just a little bit, but uh, my grandbaby, one of them anyway, Piper, she loves this stuff. Uh, or she also likes cold plunging. She's two years old. This kid's a, uh, she's funny. I freeze my strawberries because in Idaho, by the time that we get the strawberries here, uh, they're, they're going bad in a couple days. So <clears throat> I keep them as fresh or keep them fresh for a minute, but then uh, I end up freezing them so that they don't turn bad and moldy. So blueberries, so I choose these things and I'll talk more about it. And then it's just throwing it on the blender. It'll catch here in a second. There we go. Now we're cooking. And then my sprouts are over here. That's the new crop that'll be coming in shortly. And uh, I'll probably update on day six and see how I'm doing. <laughs> 